When the Prophet وسلم, speaks in the hadith of Uthman ibn Affan عنه, in Sahih al-Bukhari, he speaks about who is the best from amongst you. You want to know? The best from amongst us. I can give you one or two narrations. Let's say three narrations. One says, Khayrukum. This is the hadith of Uthman radiallahu anhu. Khayrukum. Man ta'allama al-Qur'an wa allamahu. The best from amongst all of you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it. And this is not confined only to one who teaches Alif and Ba and who teaches all the, you know, the Fatha and Kasra. That is a part of it. But more so it is the teachings of revelation. Whoever has dedicated some time or a lot of time or most of their time to learning what their creator has revealed and learning it thoroughly and properly. The, the instructions, the do's and the don'ts, understanding it, putting it into practice and conveying it to others. Nobody can be better than that person. Nobody can be better than that person. Why? Because the whole purpose of this short life, short life is just a few minutes. To be honest with you, you can calculate how many minutes is 60, 70 years. The short life, the whole purpose of it is to prepare for the eternal life. That's what the Muslims believe. And for your information, the Jews and Christians believe something quite similar to that. They would tell you, you are preparing for the eternal life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good preparation. So if we lose focus even for a moment, we would be at a loss. And the one who constantly reminds us, listen, very carefully. If someone tells us, listen, you are supposed to be preparing for the day you're going. Is this what you are doing? Is it going to benefit you? Is it going to help you in any way? Cut it out. If it's not, cut it out.